How do you know if you have the right main image that has that best CTR so you're getting the most sales and traffic to your Amazon listing? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, there's a new tool that PickFu just released and it's called the Amazon Mockup Generator. I'm gonna show you how to use this and why this is such an important development. First, here's my listing so you know what we're gonna work on today. This is my men's soap box. It does pretty well, sells hundreds of units a month, and I've done multiple takes on my main image. So for today's test, you can type in the two ASINs of, of in question. So in my case, I wanted to test the main image on the same ASIN. So what I ended up doing here was typing in the ASIN like this and hitting import, and then I found a second ASIN with a variation and hit import to that and it pulled up to this stage. So that's where we're at at this point. So in here, um, it's gonna showcase what your main image, what's partial title, and it fills in some things. So what I like about the import tools, it's a more realistic view of what a consumer is gonna find on the search results. So for example, if we go in and type in all natural men's soap bar and put that into the search box, hopefully my listing comes up towards the top here not quite at the top, but you get the idea. Here's what the consumer's gonna see, right? They're gonna see the title like that, they're gonna see the 400 reviews, et cetera. And this is how it looks against the competition. Well, the import function will make it look pretty close to what the consumer will see in the search result against others. And so if you wanted to get an idea of like how yours is gonna do against somebody else's, you're gonna have different review counts than them, or they're gonna have a different title, which one would you rather click on? You can now do an A-B test where it's not just the main photo, but it's also the photo title and ratings all together. And keep in mind with multivariant testing like this, sometimes A will beat B and one will beat two, but one A will not beat B two. So keep that in mind. And I know that was maybe not making a lot of sense, but in short, essentially sometimes when you do true A-B testing and then you put in multiple variations, the variations when combined in a different fashion will get a different result. And so you don't necessarily wanna take A and one as the final result. So sometimes you gotta combine all that together and run it A1 versus B2. And that's why we have tests like this. Okay, so in here, you're gonna change a couple of things. If you need, I'm gonna put my ratings right at the 400 cause it's the same, price is the same, good to go. So this one's done. But on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out the image and change a new one in here. So I'm gonna hit this upload button, go to my download section and put in this, uh, the, the, the old photo. This is how I had my old photo originally. Now I am getting an error message on the character count being too high and I really want it to just say the same thing that this one does. So what I'm gonna do here is just copy that over, just like that. Now I think there's a three dots there, so we'll type that in, put up the reviews to the same just like that and hit save. Now, do they look the same on the title? Looks okay to me, have the same line breaks, have the same ratings, have the same price. The only difference here is I'm gonna test the main photo and I wanna see you know, if it's in a more natural setting, what it's gonna do, how this is gonna work for PicFu's test results. All right, so we've unified it. You can fill in and do the edit there as well. I went ahead and just edited it straight in there. And then from here, we're now gonna to import to the poll builder. So this is a new tool that allows you to create the mockups. So you're not just taking a screen grab and uploading it manually. So that's the benefit of using this tool at PicFu. So click on the import poll builder in here. I, I like to do mine um, from scratch typically. And I think this is what I need to click here, uh, which, and then we wanna do which product would you rather buy or which image would you prefer as the main photo on Amazon or which would you more likely click on? I, I tend to like this question quite a bit because we're, we're trying to figure out CTR primarily when doing these sort of things. So we're gonna click on that option, go to the next step. So now we have these already imported. So it saves us a little bit of trouble of trying to create an image and load things in. And you can see what the consumer can see in the search result um, cleanly. So you might get a little bit of elicited feedback on, on the title as well when you're running a test like this, which is could be beneficial. Next step, general audience. I generally do that. Sometimes if you have a really niche product, it makes sense to, to pay extra to do the custom audience. But most of the time, I just run the general audience myself. We're gonna do 50 questions on this. I generally think that's acceptable and good enough, but if you wanna run 
Uh, more than that, to get additional data, I doubt you're gonna get much of a percentage change as you increase the audience size. But if you've got a team that you're really trying to convince this is the way to go, go ahead and upgrade that accordingly. So in here, you can get additional data and behavioral things if you wanna pay a little bit extra. Um, I personally don't necessarily care about that, but it could be beneficial, especially if you're doing like supplements, maybe you wanna look at some of that kind of stuff. And then as we scroll to the next step, there's obviously a lot of options in there, like age of children and a bunch of stuff like that too. And then you can make your poll public. I like to do that, save myself a little extra five bucks there, and then you can get to the next step, confirm the poll. Now you're just making sure you set it up correctly and all that's good to go. And we're gonna confirm everything and go to the checkout step. After you submit the poll, you're gonna get your answers pretty quick. One of the things I really like about PickFu is that you get the information in about 45 minutes when you submit this, which is rapidly fast, especially if you're trying to launch a new product. Uh, that's very beneficial. Now you could run free tests inside of Seller Central and that data does take six weeks and it's real data to run a real A-B test. So there is technically additional free ways you can do this, but getting uh, a question like this answered in under an hour for 50 bucks, that's, that's a price I'm personally willing to pay. Now I am a PickFu certified partner. I do push their product and the reason I do that is because I personally use the product and I enjoy it and I like it. It's super intuitive. I've had them on my podcast, just a great product. If you wanna try this out yourself, you can use my Amazon guy for 50% off. Just go to pickfood.com slash my Amazon guy and claim that offer. If you need some help setting up a, a test yourself, we also have a paid service over at my Amazon guy slash pickfood. And in here, you can see a bunch of free information on why we test and what we do and how to look at it. And here's an example of a poorly worded test and a well-run test. And you guys can check that out. We do have a basic test for 250 or a coach pick food test where you get to talk to me for 650 right on the website. Let me know what you guys think. Check out PickFu and do some A-B testing because if you're not doing this, your CTR is not at its maximum value and you really need to do it. I'm two minutes into my tests already. I already have, it looks like seven, 14 votes here and it's a neck to neck race, seven to seven. We'll see which one wins out. About 10 minutes have passed and I've already got 33 responses. Looks like option B is taking a slight lead here with three extra votes, 25 to 22 here. You can see that there. One of the things I really like now is the responses that are written inside of the survey results. The way the items are neatly laid out on A makes it more appealing. The layout displays the product more intuitively, right? And so you get the idea of how the consumer is gonna interact and why they say what they're gonna say. Um, and you can ask follow-up questions like this. You can pin it, you can upvote it. And so when you share this result with your team, you can say, hey, here's the reason why we're gonna go with option B. Not only did it win by 10 percentage points, but you can look at the comments to get further information. So we'll post the link to this poll. If you wanna see the full results, you can see it's all public. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.